James. There you go, the aggression. You see now James is trying to put these low kicks, and that is more in the kind of the Muay Thai tradition. Coming out blazing. Concentration in that fighter. He needs to get his uh, hands going. Yes. Can't stand static right in front of him. Uh, Got to move. These guys are both debuts, by the way. They are. So here again, you know, we gotta we gotta figure out where they're at and get their feet on the on the canvas. And I think that what's happening here with with James is he's very aggressive. It's his style. But he can be got a nice kick. Yeah, he can be caught if he keeps taunting people. So. Trying to get under um, Jerry's skin. Uh -huh. I think it was a good right hand. I'm not sure it was his leg. Yes. It was a little off balance as well. Yeah. It wasn't quite a slip. It was definitely contact. Working in there, moving them hands. Yes. Inside, kick, inside leg kick. He's just being aggressive, you know? It's like, that was a slip. He's still taunting, like you said. Yeah. And I'm getting a warning from the ref. Yeah, I think that the ref is not gonna like that. This is not a, aggression is good. There's no need to just be doing there's there's just no Tiger Ty the referee is very uh, knowledgeable being a fighter himself and all he knows what's expected and what what he's going to tolerate and it's, he won't tolerate much of that and you know sometimes I understand a lot of these fighters they come here they want to win that's their style, aggressive style, but there is a fine line with sportsmanship. Oh, absolutely. And so you don't want to just cross that line by insulting or taunting. But it looks to me like Jerry is taking it well. I mean, it's difficult to take that level of aggression as your opponent, but hey. That's the style. Surely is super. Man, man, he came straight in with a barrage. Just just a straight barrage. Hand over hand over hand. He continuing with the taunting though. Alright. If there's nothing. That's that's one of the advantages of um, the blue corner should probably just do the clinch more. Stop those attacks. Clinch and me. Clinch and me. There right. You go. Stifle that those barrages yes, from right now. He needs to get there, get behind the neck, put a few knees, put a couple of low kicks, and then slow him down. Needs to work on some head movement too. That's true. Because his head is just too stationary. Very true. So with a tend to, to leave with a the kick, there, kick huh? right? That's the one that you like. Yeah, he needs to work on some head movement and getting yeah. his head off the center line. And like you said, he should yeah. be closing the right. gap and stifling yeah. him. Use the clinch. Now. Clinch really well, better. He's not clinching that well, but he, you know, he could save the fight. I mean. Everybody can go down, so. That's when the knees should be. Just get that clean as well.
coming down to the end of this round. Yes, it is. There you go. That's the end of two. Two, yeah. And I think that, um, of course, James still pushing has a very aggressive style, good technique. And uh, Jerry's having some difficulty controlling that. But um, it seems to me like, I mean, if this was a longer battle, I think that uh, James would be very exhausted. Look at how he's breathing in the corner, in the red corner. He's in very good shape, though. I mean, I think this kid can recover and, and survive this and even still win by a knockout, right? Something you said that is really critical is the head movement. We don't do that that well in kickboxing. Uh, I mean, when somebody's throwing the barrage like that and you're standing straight up and tall yeah. and you're not moving your head, you're going to collect some of it. He needs to keep his chin down a little bit more. Even when he moved forward, when they was moving forward towards each other, his head was straight up in the air. Just relentless, he pressing the attack. As soon as he turned him around, that's when he needs to take it back. He didn't just turn around to turn around. He turned around, grabbed the guy, put him against the corner. So, still a few things to learn, but that's good. Yeah, I think he should be utilizing that clinch, like you said. It's now the opportunity, there you go. If you, if you grab him there, not like that. <laughs> he should turn it around. Work the clinch and run some knees up the middle. Especially now he's getting tired. That's when now the, there you go. That's when now things can start See? to be interesting. Keep the clinch. I don't know why they just let the clinch go until the ref says so. Keep it. And in doing so with the clinch, you know, you let your opponent carry some of your weight, Absolutely. too. Try to wear them down a little Absolutely. bit. Tire those arms so he can't flail them around. And it's happened. It actually happened. See how it's a lot more sloppy now. Again, great opportunity. Clinch. Turn around. Knee. Now knee. There you go. Now we're talking. But he got a knee himself now. And that was a very good one. It was not a low blow. I don't think it was a low blow. That's it. Look at him out of breath. He was not. He looked like he was taking in some deep breaths hanging over the rope even. But this is this is a count. What? What happened? Oh, it's a fight. Okay. I think he I think he did call it a low blow. Yeah. I don't think it was a low blow. I think it was more on the side of the of the body. Is he is he even? Bad for their oh, big, terrible for the group over. They're going back. That was a really terrible stop for the group over. You let the kid like this recover and you're done. And he just, I mean, that low blow was exactly what this kid needed to recover and that's it. And honestly, you know, with that level of aggression and good technique, there's a good chance you can win fights and that's it. I know he, he, uh, he's a little bit more tamed down next time. He doesn't have to calm his opponent. <laughs> Yeah, that was a very strong finish there.
loving that music. A bit of salsa for the day. Scores at about 29, 26, all for your winner by unanimous decision, James White Chocolate!